Okay. Hello. It's me, your boy, Rux. And uh, I got my computer. You saw the video. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I've got a new lighting set up too, just for now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way, but it's pretty uh, interesting that I can use this webcam in OBS now. So I'm just changing it up a little bit. If we like it, we'll keep it. If we don't, we won't. I I don't know. We'll see. Um, that being said, today I want to teach you guys how to make excellent kick drums. Now, I didn't get this idea my, myself. I actually got this idea from Mr. Bill. I waited some time because I didn't want to copy, I guess. Um, I just really want to show that this is something that you can translate into FL since I use FL Studio and he uses Ableton. So it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you want to see it in action, then you can see how I do it in FL here. Uh, it also works for claps and snares, and I will link his video below because I'm not going to take his idea. This is something that, you know, he posted first, and then I was like, wow, I didn't think of this. So hopefully I can bring some awareness. Not a huge fan of, like, gatekeeping ideas. So that being said, I'm going to shut up now, and here we go. Okay, we're in FL Studio. Ignore this. I've got my template open. Uh, so if you want your kicks to bang because they don't fucking bang like they used to, um, it's real simple. We're just going to, uh, you know what? Let's just not use samples, right? Let's just go, well, we're going to use samples. Let's go into, uh, here in FL's kicks, right? Thank you, Mr. Saturn. Um, let's find a kick, right? Like a nice... Okay, that's a pretty decent kick, right? You're like, man, this is a good kick. I wish it had, you know, more bang to it. It's like, it's pretty okay. But let's double click on it, right? Let's double click on it. Let's bring the properties up. And we're going to change the transient to bleeding for now. We'll get to that in a minute. So something that he said that he does to give his kicks that extra you know, that fucking, that really loud that we like so much. Um, <laughs> he cuts the transient, and it's interesting because you'd think that there'd be that little click. You know, I'm sure you've heard the click when you uh, cut something. Let's, like, cut that out, right? And you get that weird, like, what is it, the zero crossing point thing? But you don't really get that with the kick. It doesn't really affect it. So now that I have it cut, uh, let me just do this. Change the snapping to like none, right? And uh, let's zoom in all the way and just cut that little tip holding, you know, right shift and right click. We'll bring up the slice tool if you didn't know. So let's just cut that. Let me see if this changes to that. Now we'll just do that. So. Your kick has no transient. It's just a fucking... And nobody likes fucking... So what you can do from here is... Put whatever transient you want, right? It's weird. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so without... And now I added the uh, 707 tambourine, right? It just, it change like, it really changes the, the tonality of this kick. Or not tonality, the f It just gives this kick some more character. Let's uh, bring the kick over here real quick. Sorry, I have one monitor right now, and I'm used to having two. So, so it's quite a, quite a difference, right? It's funny because you can take this even further, you know. Let's just put a clap, right? And if you, you can also, change the snap back to none. You can also, what should, if you can get it right, 
if you can get it right, if you can get it, oh my god, this is a nightmare. If you can get it right, there we go. If you hold left shift when you drag, it gives you the ability to drag through a sample like this and resize one while you resize the other. And just listen to this, listen to the differences that you get here. And we can even, I mean, manipulate it more. That sounds awful. Let's try a hi hat or like a hold shit. <laughs> you get the point. So it's it's like you can do this with kicks, you can do this with snaps and claps. It's just a nice way to get more more you know it's it's an interesting trick that i wish i knew about before um but yeah i know this was short i didn't really want to put too much effort into this but go give mr bill a shout out his videos are great i've learned a lot from him i mean you can apply this to even other things if you want i mean you can use different percussion samples you could use vocal samples it's it's just another thing to add to your kick creation i mean there's more things that you could do you could clip your kick so that way it's you know punchier i guess make sure if you do that shape your kicks shape them do not keep them super long if you're making a faster genre you might want them a little bit you know shorter so that they stand out but they're not too much in your mix so uh i don't know what else to say what else to do um I could sit here and talk to you guys for a little while, but uh, it is 1.28 in the morning and I have to somehow stay awake until 5 because I'm on third shift. So uh, I hope you guys learned something. We'll maybe do some more tutorials and stuff. Uh, Going to start streaming soon. Stay tuned. I'll make an update video for that. Um, I'm just trying to get the rest of this set up in the meantime because right now one monitor uh, I prefer to have two, and I mean, everything else is here. Maybe a new camera at some point, but we'll fucking focus. On, what, what, I'm just rambling at this point. You guys don't care, so I'm going to go see you guys. <laughs> Bye.